Hey everybody, um, Survivor Kid Outdoors, and today I was thinking about uh, what I should do a video of, because I'm not here in my normal woods. There's not really much room except for this little path. You might not be able to see that, but um, until I get back to my normal woods, I won't be making many videos on uh, making uh, spears and uh, traps and stuff like that until I get back to my woods. And that'll be in about a day or so, which I'll probably make it in about a couple days. But, um, um, I was thinking about what I should do. And I know I did uh, poison ivy and stuff in these woods too. But I was thinking that I'm going to do a list of poisonous snakes and spiders. Uh, spiders, there's only going to be like three, but snakes are going to be more than one. If you're back in my woods, I guess we can get started, but if you're back in my woods or uh, near a pond or a lake in the woods, but like the pond is right next to the woods by the lake, um, I mean the pond is right next to the woods, um, like my woods where the creek is right next, um, the main snake you want to watch out pretty much on the shore or near rocks um, or n like right on the edge of the land and then the water's right there. Sometimes not even that. Sometimes they'll be actually on land. But one really, really dangerous snake that lots of people know about back in the woods, the woodsy, the damp areas like the Amazon, uh, creeks and ponds and stuff is a cottonmouth. Or water moccasins. Some people call them water moccasins. Some people call them cottonmouths. But they're pretty. They're they're a poisonous snake. Um, they can give about a nasty bite, and it can last you pretty much after you get bit by one of those. If you're lucky, you might be able to get saved. But pretty much the main time until you die is about 30 minutes after about 10 minutes of being there. So right when it bites you, you got about 30 minutes left, pretty much, if you can get to the doctor. Um, uh, there is also, um, the rattlesnake, which is not really, it's not really a snake that's near water. It's more of in the leaves and dry pine straw, like that, dry pine straw stuff, um, that's where you might find some rattlesnakes and copperheads too. Copperheads and rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes have a little rattle on the back of their tail. And when you're walking, you might start to hear the rattle. It'll just sound like uh, one of those um, shaker things that the Indian use. Um, I don't remember. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But it'll sound kind of like that, but just a lot faster. So if you're walking, stop where you are, look around. Make sure you can see the snake, and if he's far away from you, just keep walking away. If he's close right in front of you, try to back away from him. Um, copperheads, on the other hand, have a head uh, that's in like a... Oh, also, rattlesnakes have a head that's like a diamond. Um, and copperhead has like a... Also, that kind of weird shape. But they're more of a camo, so... Just watch out for the copperhead and the rattlesnake. I don't have a lot for the copperhead. He's a brown snake. Um, so you want to watch out for, so far, cottonmouths, rattlesnakes, and uh, co uh, copperheads. Pretty much back in my woods. Sometimes you can come across a king snake. King snakes aren't much of a, a danger because they're not really poisonous. But they are bad snakes and he will give a bite. Same with uh, rat snakes, they're smaller, um, but they can do some pretty bad bite also. And even watch out, it may not seem like it, but watch out for um, uh, baby snakes that are poisonous because the adult snakes know more like, if they bite you, they know the amount of venom they need to put in you. If a uh, baby snake is not known, 
it doesn't know yet. So if a baby snake bites you, you're probably going to die faster because they don't know how much poison to put in you or venom to put in you. And that can never be good. So just watch out for that. Um, also, pythons and anacondas, they're, those are big snakes. You would kind of recognize them, but they're, they could be uh, near water. They can be most of the time in trees. So just watch out for the python and the anaconda. They're not poisonous, but they still give a giant bite. And they're a big snake, and they uh, they construct people's legs, people's arms, even your neck. And also, boa constrictors are like the same thing. They're not poisonous, but they're basically a miniature, a miniature um, uh, anaconda or python. So that's what you want to watch out for back. Uh, those are the snakes you kind of want to watch out for back there. Um, sometimes if you're walking, uh, you might come across in the water, you might come across a corn snake. Oh, and sometimes it's not a corn snake because I know I forgot the color pattern, but there's supposed to be a little saying. It's like uh, black. Uh, it's like it's like a friendly jack or dead jack. I don't know, but it, uh, I think it's red and black matched together is the corn snake, which is highly venomous, and then the yellow and red yellow oh no yellow to black is the good I think yeah I'm pretty sure actually I think the yellow to the black is a non poisonous but still is a snake so pretty much just treat all snakes the same just a little review on the snakes then you can come across some spiders now back in the woods lots of times in my woods you can find orb spiders and um, there, some people call them banana spiders, but banana spiders are like giant tarantula spiders that are black. And then the spiders that I'm talking about, there's one over here, but there's poison ivy surrounding his web. I really don't know if you can see him, but he's right in front of the camera. You might be able to. There's a web right there. You might be able to see him floating. Now he just moved. Now you might be able to see him because he just moved. I don't know. But he's moving very slowly now. Very creepy. I, I'm pretty much, I like, I'm not really much of a, like, some people are like, oh my god, it's a snake. But I'm not much of like, fear of snakes. I mean, I know they're worse than spiders, but spiders are just creepy with long legs and big fat stomachs and stuff. It just kind of creeps me out. Snakes, on the other hand, don't creep me out as much. But the backwoods spiders, um, no, there's not really a lot of backwoods spiders, but sometimes we run into an orb spider. They, uh, don't think they're poisonous. I'm pretty sure there's, some people call them banana spiders, but an orb spider is that kind of spider that makes a zigzag web. That's an orb spider. And lots of people think they look really mean and poisonous, but they're not. So, and uh, brown recluse, black widow. Brown recluse is the most poisonous. Black widow is, I think, the second poisonous. But you really shouldn't find a brown recluse. It's more of a house spider. And tarantulas. And tarantulas, you guys probably know what those are. The big fat spider with hairs. Um... Well, that's pretty much it, so I guess I'll see you guys later on the next video, and it's probably going to be on um, how to make something, and I want to, I really want to um, find some bamboo, because I know how to make a really, really effective fish trap, but I have no clue where bamboo is, so that's kind of a problem, Um, but I can try to find some bamboo um i'll probably get some soon but i'm gonna probably be making a video next soon i'll be making a video on how to start a fire with flint 
first I'm gonna need some cotton balls. I don't have any right now, so um I'm pretty sure the next one will probably be on maybe a trap. I think it's a trap or maybe a new shelter. Might be a lean to shelter or a debris shelter. I don't know, but just be tuned. Um stay tuned, subscribe if you want. Um try not to leave any negative comments. But uh other than that, I know that pretty much the next uh, four videos is probably going to be on some bushcrafting. So stay tuned for that, and um, I'll see you guys later. Survivor Kid Outdoors, and uh, see you on the next video.